hey guys welcome to today's video i'm trust and on today's video i'm going to show you guys how to make a test to audio file and most people might say they are looking for an application that can help them to create a test to audio image or some can just say they are looking for a test to audio converter this is actually the video for you now i'm going to do this in three different methods and i'm going to start with uh cap cut and i'm starting on the mobile then i will move to the pc and show you guys even how to do it do not forget cap cut also have a desktop version so doing this is actually going to help you to do the same thing on the desktop version now um open cap cut click on new project and then we are going to start with um stock video and we are going to go to background go to background and we are going to choose a plain green background now the reason why we are choosing a green background is so that if we are working on other software we can remove the background easily so um, select it and add it to the file you know you can drag this as long as your test audio um, keep going hold on guys i got to get rid of this then you can drag this to the end of your audio so i'm going to start adding my test image click on this area click on test and then add test and while adding the test i am going to put um different words all right guys so when you finish typing you click on the check icon and it's going to load up this page now if it brings up this page is a simple thing that you need to do click on test to speech now when you click on test to speech you click on apply to all now go ahead and look at the different tests there are different tests here this is actually english this is anime you can go ahead and select different tests if you click on this it's going to say the word hello i'm trust and this is a ts tech talk video on today's video we'll show you how to create an eye all right now that is the person's voice you can click on this other person's voice to hear Hello, I'm Trust, and this is a TS Tech Talk video. On today's video, I will show you how to create an AI. And I can do this also. Hello, I'm Trust, and this is a TS Tech Talk video. On today's video, I will show you how to create an AI. So guys, if you are not satisfied with the way that the AI is talking, you can double click or just click once. It's going to display an adjustment. This is the normal speed. If you increase the speed, it's going to talk faster. But I think the normal speed is actually okay. So I'm just going to, um, you can notice there is also female. There are different um, Hello, AI. Hello, I'm Trust, and this is a TS Tech Talk video. You On can today's scroll video, down. I will show you how to create an AI. You can scroll down to see different ones. You can choose any one that you like. I think I'm actually okay with the energetic mail, and I'm going to click on confirm. Now, um, when you click on confirm, it's going to start generating your speech. You notice it's generating the speech. So it, you notice it says speech generated. Now you can look at the audio file. This is actually the audio file and this is where it ended. Now let me do something else so that you guys will still see that it still keep going. So, um... Okay, I'm done typing. So I'm going to confirm again. Click test to speech. And um, do not forget apply to all. So I'm going to scroll down. I've forgotten the person I chose here, yeah, an energetic uh, male. Now, if you actually... Um, and all the tools you need for this. Confirm. And you notice it says, replace the current voice we replace uh, by the um, new voice. I'm going to click on replace. And it's going to replace uh, the other voice. So uh, wait for it to generate the audio. Now you notice it generated audio for this and audio for this. Now how you know that it generated the audio? Just look at the blue line. The blue line is actually an audio. And if you want to confirm that, let me go back. You notice this area, just click on the audio and you are going to see all of the audio in the video. You can swipe to actually see if they are well arranged. If they are not properly arranged, you can actually click and hold and move it backward so you notice um it says right there that you notice it says test updated according to the speech setting so once you move this it's going to move so it, depending on how you move it that's exactly how the test is also going to um follow the um the the audio now you can go ahead and let's go ahead and play the audio now this did not play because um of the rendering speed or my ram is already full so i'm going to go back and play it again 
Hello, I'm Trust, and this is a TS Tech Talk video. On today's video, I will show you how to create an AI. I will discuss the meaning of AI, the important of AI, and all the tools you need for this. So you can see that the voice is actually not perfect. So all you need to do is just move this a little bit backward. I think um, it did not actually need to have too much space on it. This is enough. And move this also. Oh, come on. That was a mistake, guys. Move this backward. Okay. I think this is going to be closed because um, the sentence was actually a continuation. Now, watch. Hello, I'm Trust, and this is a TS Tech Talk video. On today's video, I will show you how to create an AI. I will discuss the meaning of AI, the important of AI, and all the tools you need for this. Now, if this is still not perfect, still keep switching it until you are actually satisfied. But I think I'm actually satisfied with that. So if you want to end the video right here, just click on this area and then you split and you delete. And now the next thing you need to do is actually to export. Now, um, I do not know if you guys or anybody don't know how to remove green screen, but removing green screen is actually quite easy. So let's say I am done with that and probably click on a new project all on a different um, video editing tool and then um, i'm just going to come right here and choose a different image click on add and then i'm going to click uh, on the overlay and then um, click on add overlay i am going to go to video and this is actually hello i'm screen. trust and this I'm is going a to click on add and then this is actually our green screen so all you need to do is actually look for the chroma to um chroma to sorry it's actually background remover to right yeah it's background remover tool on this particular tool so you can either use the chroma key or you use the custom remover but i think um the chroma key is actually okay so i'm going to highlight over this and then i think i'm actually okay with that i'm at the remover you notice it just removed it and then i'm going to click on confirm and then um uh you cannot play the image uh, you cannot play the video and listen okay let me increase this length to end the same area for the green screen so guys i am actually not teaching you how to remove green screen you already know how to do that just play hello i'm trust and this is a ts tech talk video on today's video i will show you how to create an ai right so if probably this is a talking image i'm going to actually edit that and it's going to be talking so this is actually how to do it on CapCut. now the next software that i'm going to show you is also easy to do and it just saves only your audio for you now let's go over to um, a browser and then type in um, ttsmaker.com now after typing ttsmaker.com you can go ahead and type in um, the test that you want i just did this this morning um, that's the reason why it's uh, displaying that way. So, um, so um, once you're done, also guys, do not forget to add either full stop or comma while you're typing, so that it's going to make the AI to be more accurate. So make sure you actually know the proper um, words to add. Then once you're done, just scroll down. Um, scroll down a little bit and you are going to notice um there is even more information right here you can read everything so now um the default language right now is english you can actually change that by clicking on the drop down you will see all of the available languages but then if you type in english it's going to display in english so you need to actually type um, in english translate it with a different ai tool then you come back and use it so this is actually the example of your image so you can actually click on this to test in test out your voices so you can either choose this voice or you choose this voice now if you're done you can just click on play the example or if you are actually confident you can just come here and convert the speech but if not playing the example is actually better. tts maker is a free text-to-speech tool that provides speech synthesis tts maker is a free text-to-speech tool that provides tts maker is a free text-to-speech tool that provides speech synthesis services TTS Maker is a free text-to-speech tool All right. that provides speech synthesis services. So once services. you're sure about the one you want to use, click on it and then um, you scroll down a little bit further. Um, hope I did not deselect the person I chose. Yeah, it's still correct. So scroll down a little bit further. You notice this code, you actually have to impute it here. That is actually a security code so that people will not um, 
uh, abuse the system or hackers will not um, in, um, make changes to the website. So just go ahead and click on convert. I actually like the fact there is a security there because um, AI can, or uh, bots can actually crawl the website for uh, information. So you click on convert, it converts your image. Now this is our converted Welcome image. To if you finish converting, it automatically start playing. So I'm going to click on play. Today's video, I'm Trust and this is a TS Tech Talk video. I will show you how to make an AI talk and all the tools you need. All right, you see how it played, it played perfectly well. Now the next thing you need to do is to click on download and it started downloading. You can see right there, it just finished downloading and um, what is the download name? Blah, blah. Okay, I think it's uh, some digit 8439. But then um, I can now use this on my video editing tool. If it doesn't show, you can always convert it. So I'm just going to click on a new project and then go to photos and then choose a random picture of my gallery and add it now the next i am going to add the audio i am going to click on sound and i'm going to go to my device and device and i do not actually know the name of the image that was saved so i am going to display my notification so that i can see um i think it's tts maker right so i'm going to type in tts tts so this is actually the TTS maker, and I think it's actually this one, right? Um, I'm not very sure. Let's play it. Okay, it should be this one because this is longer. Let's Welcome play. to today's video. I'm Trust, and this is a TS Tech Talk video. I will show you how to make an right, AI talk. I am thinking and all the is this. So I just click on Add, and you can see the audio added there. So now all I need to do is to click and screw this image to the ending of the voice note and then you leave it there so you can now play the voice note to see that it works welcome to today's video i'm trust and this is a ts tech talk video i will show you how to and also guys you notice um i delayed to it the ai or the um the voice actually delayed too much to talk you can also uh, edit that audio area by clicking on split and then i'm going to go to where the voice started i think around here if you are not very sure you can always play the audio but i'm very sure i'm going to click that and then i'm going to delete it and i'm going to add it together so it will not take too much time while talking because i think it delayed too much now watch trust and this is a ts tech talk video i will show you how to make an ai talk. i think that is actually better than the previous one so if you're ready to export your image you can click here to export your image and then the final one guys i am going to show you guys on the pc how to do it so uh guys with all this i think you can actually generate or create your test to um your test to audio image but let's go to the pc and you can also see how the pc works all right guys now let's go ahead and convert our test to an audio in pc now um if you have your browser open go ahead and type in um, clipchamp.com on your web browser now after typing that in you are going to notice different options so at first it's going to ask you to um you are going to see a, an option on top for sign in and sign up so go ahead and sign up i usually sign up making use of my gmail so i have already signed up now to start a new project you can see where it's written there are different things just scroll down a little bit um and you're going to say you see where it says um, create a new video so go ahead and click on create a new video now this is also like um cap code so this is going to give you the same feeling and all you need to do right now once you are on this area all you need to do you notice where it says um record and create right click on that the second option on the top and just go ahead and hover down you will notice where it says test to image now let's click on the test to image um let me move this down so that you can see or let me move it down here so after clicking on the test image automatically it creates this file on your timeline and then it allows you to write your image here your write your test here and you can see on this top area you can choose different language you can choose different voice and you can actually test the voice now if you click on hear voice you will hear what the voice is saying but now you notice we do not have anything written right if you are actually okay with that you can settle it with it but if you are not okay with that just click on this drop down and you are going to see different names appear now the only issue with this is that it doesn't actually um it doesn't actually uh put 
or write the name if you are talking about a male or a female so the only thing is is just going to put different name um and you can enter it so you can see guy play now if you are satisfied with this you can go ahead and settle with it and also you can click here to choose different languages currently is set on english united states and you can choose filipino um, french france and different languages so click on play All right, guys, I do not know what that means, but that is actually French. Now, um, all you need to do is to go ahead and type in the word that you want. So I'm going to say All right, guys, so I'm done typing and you can click on preview to preview your sound. So it's going to see everything like that. All right, guys, you notice you just spoke French. I do not actually understand French. And you can actually click on this drop down to choose a different language. But actually, once you're satisfied with what you want, just click on save. If you click on save, it's going to pop up on this area. Just wait for it, it's saving up. All right guys, so it's complete. And if you hover, if you move around, you can see where the test actually ended. So all you need to do right now is to add a video because without adding a video, you cannot export this because if you click on export, you can see video quality and all that. So all you need to do is actually add a video. So I'm going to click on add a video um, because I do not actually have any video to import. I am going to look for color. Um, there is no color here. Uh, let's see, browse, talk. Um, you know what? I think I have an image on my mobile, so I'm going to browse that, and then I'm going to use that. So I'm just going to click on... Um, I only want to have visuals, but it already on audio. Uh, music file. Hold on, guys. I do not want audio. So um, I just want to add something to the background. OK, yeah, this is an image. And I think I've seen a green screen. So guys, always make sure you use green screen whenever you are working on, whenever you are working on stuff like this so that you can easily remove. On almost any video, you can easily remove green screen. Click on Add to Timeline. It has been added. Just drag it uh, to the end. Let's make sure we have it to the end of the video. Um, make sure you have it from beginning to the end of the video. I think the video actually ended here. Yeah. yeah, and then I'm going to go to the beginning of the video and it also ended there. So guys, we are good to go. So now all you need to do is to click on export. You can export your video with any file. You can say this HZ or 4K UHZ. Whichever file you want, I think, um, is okay. So just go ahead and save up your video. And after you save up your video, you can always um, reuse this on any software. 
just remove the background color and the audio is good to go. But if you do not want to remove the background color also, there is actually something that you need to do. You can just go online and search um, video to audio, video to audio converter. Let me type in. So with video to audio converter, it's going to convert your video to an audio. So all it's going to do is it's going to remove the audio um, it's going to remove the video and leave the audio so it's like extracting the video so it's actually okay if you use this it's going to do it for you or you can just use any editing tool to remove your background but then guys this is all i have for today's video if you have any issue doing this let me know on the comment section this is actually very easy i have taken much time to actually explain this and i think this is easy enough so um i hope this video is helpful to you um, if it is, don't forget to smash like and I will see you on my next video. Stay safe and peace.